Twickenham will host another historical match that includes the 1995 World Cup Final, 2003 Quarter Final and Ted and Fort Playoffs in 1999. South Africa holds the 2-1 advantage over the All Blacks, who claim the Quarter Final 29-9 win in Melbourne. And from New Zealand's perspective, the Springboks could be the pinnacle challenge in Sydney's clash. You know, pretty forward orientated in, in how they approach things, and their drives are a key weapon for them. They're, they're big men in the lineup, so you know, initially, I think you want to, you've got to be disciplined, so you don't give them penalties, don't give them a chance to kick out to the corner. Um, other than that, get up and win the ball. The All Blacks' biggest matchup would be the physicality the Springboks forwards back up front and the line throws. Another interesting prospect in Sunday's clash is All Blacks' Julian Severe who has been a standout player having been compared to All Blacks great John Alomu after he scored the final hat-trick against France. They've probably tweaked a, a, number, a number of things, I think, since the Rugby Championship. And um, I don't want to say too much about that, but they've, uh, they've obviously adopted a style that they think is uh, the style they need. Springbok swinger JP Peterson says Julian Sevilla is no John Alomu. But these All Blacks opposite still represents a tough challenge in Sydney's World Cup semi-final. Sevilla has won four of his five outings against the Springboks, but is yet to score a try against them. Shane Saroya National, MTV Sports.